Hey there guys, Portalmaster9351 here, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about a few of the theories that I have as to why this game that just released on the PS4 and Xbox One, the Spyro Reignited Trilogy, did not get a release on the Nintendo Switch or PC at launch. There are several theories that I have for the reason behind this. We're going to be talking about a few of them. The third reason we're going to be talking about is the reason that I think is the most plausible, specifically for the Nintendo Switch. So before we dive into why it wasn't released on these two platforms, let's go ahead and clear the air about something. These platforms, the PC and the Nintendo Switch, are basically all but confirmed at this point to actually eventually be getting a release. The Reignited Trilogy has been leaked multiple times for both platforms, both on the Nintendo eShop, although that was technically by a third-party company, not by Nintendo or Activision. We still don't really know how that happened. But the second time this game was leaked, it was leaked on the Spyro website of both the French version and the UK version. You can see this drop-down menu showed the ability to pre-order the game for both Nintendo Switch and PC, although it was, you know, later removed from the website and confirmed to pretty much just, you know, not, not mean anything. So here's the question though, if these things were mistakenly advertised multiple times, as well as numerous other small little hints towards the actual existence of a Switch and PC version, why has the game not been released? That's what we're going to be answering. The first reason for this is pretty simple. The Switch and PC versions got started on at a later date. This was stated in a video that was put out a few months ago by the uh, video you know, creator Spawnwave. He stated that he had a few sources that seemed to confirm that the Spyro Reignited Trilogy was started on at a later date for the Nintendo Switch version. There's no really good explanation for why this is the case, but this does at the very least reinforce the theory that, well, the game, you know, is in development, they're just not working on it. Now, it still, again, it doesn't give us a good explanation as to why this was the case. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. You know, if you're going to release simultaneously on the PS4 and the Xbox One, that doesn't make any sense. You know, why delay the Switch version? But maybe it's just because they needed more resources, but, you know, that is the very core you know, reason that this game was delayed. The fact that the game, you know, was simply started on for a later date for the Nintendo Switch version, and we know for a fact that the Toys for Bob team is not exactly the largest team in existence. Same for Vicarious Visions, who of course worked on the Crash remasters. The Crash division uh, was very, very small, and I would imagine the same was true for the Spyro division. So perhaps the reason that the game was started on later was simply because they had a smaller team working on it. And as we know, they had to actually push the release of this game back by two months just to meet the deadlines on PS4 and Xbox One, so it's perfectly plausible that they just pushed it on Nintendo Switch, you know, back further because of the time constraints. So that is definitely the first reason that this game was probably delayed for the Nintendo Switch. The second potential explanation for why the game did not come out on Switch to start with is potentially related to the Unreal Engine. As you guys know, Spyro does run on the Unreal Engine, which is contrary to how the Crash Bandicoot engine runs. It, it does not run on Unreal. Spyro, however, does. Now, here's the thing. Nintendo consoles in the past were not terribly compatible with the Unreal Engine. As a matter of fact, the Nintendo Switch was the first that really supported third-party engines, specifically the Unreal Engine. And it's possible that there were complications with trying to get the Unreal Engine to work in the way they wanted to on the Switch. This is unlikely, though, as, well, it seems like it wouldn't be that hard to actually put a game with Unreal on the Switch. You know, they've done it before. I don't see why it would be any more difficult. So this is kind of a, a, a very, very small reason, and it's just sort of an extra one that I kind of threw in here as a potential explanation. This is not what I think caused this game to get delayed on the Switch. Not one bit, actually. So with that in mind, we're going to move on to the third reason really quickly, because the second reason is, is plausible, but not really, I think, an explanation that holds a lot of weight. The third reason, however, I think holds a lot more weight, and it's the one I'm actually going to be focusing on the most, and it is the explanation that states that, well, the hardware to actually run Spyro is not yet available on the Nintendo Switch, and you're probably thinking, Portal Master, what do you mean the hardware isn't available? Well, here's the thing. Let's first go back to what we learned a couple of weeks ago about the file size for the Reignited Trilogy versus the file size for Crash Mandicoot. So the file size for the Reignited Trilogy is 50 plus gigabytes, closer to 55 gigabytes. Does not even fit 
on a PS4 disc. The size of the Crash Bandicoot remaster was less than 30, less than 25 for that matter. And you're probably still thinking, Portal Master, what the heck does that have to do with Nintendo Switch hardware? Well, you may recall at the beginning of this year or the end of last year, it was actually the end of last year, end of 2017, it was announced that the Nintendo Switch 64 gigabyte cartridges would not be coming out until 2019. Now, see, here's the thing. Currently, Nintendo Switch cartridges are only available in two file sizes, 16 gigabyte and 32 gigabytes and you can tell based on very small differences on the actual cartridge I believe it has to do with the coloration the 64 gigabyte cartridges are still not available meaning that if they wanted to release Spyro on the switch it would require an absolutely gargantuan download to actually fit onto the game you know because you're only able to put 32 gigabytes on the actual cartridge, there would have to be an over 20 gigabyte patch that you'd have to download for the game. Now, you're, you're still sitting there thinking, okay, Portal Master, we all know that the Spyro Reignited Trilogy required a massive day one download to actually make the second and third games playable, and that is 100% correct. It does, but here's the difference between the Nintendo Switch and the Xbox One and PS4. Internal storage. The Nintendo Switch does not have anywhere near the amount of internal storage that both the PS4 and Xbox One has, i.e. The PS4 at a very, very minimum has 500 gigabytes of storage, meaning that a download size of 20 gigabytes is basically nothing in terms of hard drive space. Yeah, it's still annoying, I get that, but on the Switch, to actually be able to do that, you would pretty much have to buy an external micro SD card, and that could actually cost a lot of sales for the Nintendo Switch platform if it required a download of that magnitude. Now, I'm aware that certain games already do require a day one download of that size. For instance, Doom requires a massive download just to make the game playable on Nintendo Switch, and with that in mind, you know, I don't know how much that costs to save, for the platforms, for their games released on the platform, but I'm sure it did cost some amount of purchases on the platform, and I genuinely think that Activision could have delayed it for this reason. And actually, when this report first came out that the 64 gigabyte cartridges were being delayed, it was actually stated that numerous American developers were deciding to actually delay the release of their games on the Nintendo Switch platform because of this reason. And I genuinely think that this is a reason that this game has not actually come out for the Switch yet. This does not account for the PC, which is why I included um, that first reason. And the second reason still doesn't account for, for PC. Really and truly, there's no good explanation as to why it's not out on the PC. This is the only good explanation, in my opinion, as to why it is not out on the Nintendo Switch is simply that they're waiting for the 64 gigabyte cartridges. So if that's the case, when are the 64 gigabyte cartridges actually planned to come out? Well, see, we still don't really know. All we know is that they're coming out sometime in 2019, and we can only assume that the Switch version of this game is going to be coming out in 2019 as well. Now, that's kind of a weak correlation. The game's not out until 2019. 64 gigabyte cartridges aren't out until 2019. You know. But still, you kind of do have to consider that that is a pretty, actually valid reason that they wouldn't want to release this game. You know, it would cost a lot of sales if they did it on a 32 gigabyte cartridge instead of a 64 gigabyte cartridge. I seriously think that this is the reason this game was not released on the Switch. Again, I have no explanation for PC, but this is about the only thing that makes sense for as to why it didn't come out on the Switch. Because yeah, okay, development could have been delayed, but why was development delayed on the Switch? You know what I'm saying? I think this is a valid reason. I think this is the one that actually explains why Spyro didn't come out on the Switch. So that is it for my explanation as to my theory on why Spyro did not come out on the Nintendo Switch at the same time as it came out on the PS4 and Xbox One. While it's still not confirmed that it is getting a Switch release, the leaks that have come up to this point seem to heavily imply that eventually it will getting, be getting released. So what I want you guys to tell me is do you a think it will even actually get released on the switch or pc and b which reason do you think it is assuming that it is actually going to come to the switch why do you think that it got delayed do you think it's just because they put it in development later because of time constraints do you think it was issues trying to get the unreal engine to work how they wanted it to on the switch or do you think it is 
for, in, you know, in my opinion, this is the reason why, um, because these 64 gigabyte cartridges aren't released. Which of those theories do you think it is? Tell me all of that down in the comments. Anyways, though, that is all I have for you guys today. This has been Portal Master 9351. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Check out my Twitch channel, too, because I'm going to be streaming this over the coming weeks. And, uh, yeah, uh, shout out to all my patrons on Patreon, especially the Collector Creepypasta and Portal Power TV. And I'll see you guys next time.